Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, of course, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by talking about the movies, shows, programs, whatever the case may be, I guess. So, here we are, I guess. So, for today's video, I'll be speaking about the... This right here, folks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, another musical Broadway kind of thing. Uh, yeah, these... These are not really my thing at all. Uh, I'm going to be honest here, folks. I don't like musicals. And, of course, it's taking inspiration from this movie. Obviously. So, yeah. So, it's kind of like revisiting that movie in some ways, of course. But, anyway, I just figured I'd do this because why not? Might as well just talk about more Disney stuff right here, folks. So, yeah. I just thought, it's, I guess it's kind of like a revisit, but just done in a broader way sense, I guess. Of course. But anyway, basically the whole idea is that, yeah, it's a celebration, a musical celebration, to be more exact, centered around the word, the characters, and of course, the music of the Disney animated film they made, of course. And, yeah, of course, it was going to have people from some culture being a part of it, obviously, I guess that's what inspired it anyway. So, yeah, it's a live to film concert experience. This plays the original cast puts up with this kind of a concert kind of a thing. They sing their favorite songs and whatnot. So, yeah, there's going to be a bunch of performances, a bunch of acting, I guess in a sense, I suppose, in a, in a way. So, that's basically the whole idea of what's going on to do this kind of special. And I don't know, I guess you can say it's something that Disney had put together with these individuals for this kind of a thing and whatnot. So, in other words, this is definitely one of the better musical stuff I've I've seen, I guess. And, like I said, this the Broadway stuff, is it's not really my thing like at all. It really isn't. But, I'll give credit when it's due. The way it's choreographed is actually pretty well done. The way it's staged is nice. The way it's constructed and performed. And, yeah. There's not really nothing I can complain about, really. Like, at all. So... That's definitely a good thing there. I can say that this is definitely something I can uh, say I recommend. If you're a fan of the film, of course. And yeah, obviously, there's a song that, you know, Service Pressure. That's a lot of people's favorite song from the film and whatnot. So yeah, it was definitely like almost uh, a bunch of individuals, I can say, that came here, folks, and whatnot, just to. For, to celebrate the movie in its own little way and, and celebrate its own heritage, of course. And again, it does make sense considering the, the type of movie that was made, obviously. So there's that. So, yeah, the dancing was actually uh, pretty good for each song that needs to be um, done, of course. The costume designs were actually pretty good, I guess you can say. Costumes were pretty well done. But yeah, I'm trying to keep in. In keeping with the idea of the how the characters looked in the film, with the outfits, the dresses, of course. I mean, yeah, there was some cast members that were from the film that were unable to be there, unfortunately. But that is, it was, it was enough, I guess you would say. So yeah, that's definitely a good thing, of course. So yeah, this was a little thing that was definitely, um, I think that they wanted to put together, of course. And this was definitely something that a lot of people. Liked. I mean, yeah, the set pieces were actually pretty good. I was saying the costumes were really good, of course. But yeah, I don't know. I can't really complain too much, I guess. Really, really at all. But uh, but yeah, I, th I thought that was fine, of course. I thought I, I had no issue with it, really. But I guess, especially if you uh, this some uh, this kind of thing, if people don't mind seeing this kind of music thing, if this is your cup of tea, folks, if you don't mind musical Broadway kind of stuff, then, you know, I guess you can say they can be my guest. Go ahead and check it out. But all in all, I can say this was definitely nicely produced as a whole because I can see the effort they were trying to put in here, of course. But yeah, I, I did like how they were trying to keep in tune with the characters. But yeah, all in all, I can't really complain too much really because I, I, I can see what they were trying to do and whatnot. So at least they're, I guess, trying to be inclusive, I guess you can say. And that's definitely a good thing, of course. But yeah, I mean, the movie itself was pretty popular anyway. 
So, of course, it does make sense that they want to give more attention to something that was actually pretty good um, and it was popular as well. So, yeah, there was that. Of course, obviously. So, I don't know. I can't even complain, really, like I was saying a moment ago, because I, I, the colors were good. The colors were pretty expressive, of course. And, and that, altogether, I, I can say that. There's definitely a lot of people that, that came along to watch. That, that's definitely a good thing. So, yeah. By the way, folks, in case anyone's wondering, yes, I did see this on Disney+. Plus. In case, you know, anyone wants to know. But, yeah, I saw this on Disney+, Plus, folks. That's where I saw this. So, yeah, I don't have a physical copy of this. But, yeah, this was released on Disney Plus on December 28th of 2022. This was definitely, uh, I guess you would say it's a, it's a film that wasn't edited through taping of the live to film experience. Uh, uh, this one area in Los Angeles, California, which was performed on November 11th and 12th of 2022 of the same year. So, yeah, that's basically the idea of where the concert of this place and most of the entire cast rev revising your, the roles from the movie itself to the stage. And it does conclude uh, a special introduction of the songwriter, a special guest appearance. Okay, maybe not a guest appearance, but just an appearance, I guess you would say, by the music composer and uh, of course quite a few appearances by the singers of course and whatnot so there was that so yeah i can say the music was pretty well done obviously i did like the music that was done here so yeah i kind of wish that the entire cast could have came back but oh well what can you do i guess i don't know i like was saying i can't really complain really the i like the how people trying to be expressive with the body language with uh, certain type of characters and whatnot, so there's that. So, yeah, go ahead and check it out from Disney Plus if you haven't already. So, it's definitely something you could enjoy. I, I personally didn't mind it, really. And, yeah, this is something that a lot of people could enjoy. If you just want to enjoy the music, and as a way to go into other culture and whatnot. So, again, I can't really blame them for the Disney pop if I could I didn't do uh, but yeah, I, I like this, of course, even though music was like was said, again, yeah, when it comes to music, folks, don't expect me to do this that often, really, I mean, I, I guess I could use this as an excuse just to talk about Disney Plus, or just anything Disney related, I, I suppose, maybe, I guess, but like I said, when it comes, I guess regardless of who made these musicals, yeah, just don't expect me to do that that often, I suppose. I Man, if I feel like it, I guess I'll do it. I'm just saying. But just, yeah. This is sort of out my, um, yeah, what I would typically watch. Of course, even from Disney. So, but I have to review something. I have to get something up and review something that's related to Disney. Uh, so, yeah, this just came up like a good excuse to talk about Disney in some ways, I guess. Because I have to do that at some point. Review something from them. But, yeah. And, uh, but yeah, this was definitely something I can suggest to give it a watch because I don't know, I didn't think it was too shabby. Not really, I guess. Because considering the fact that the singing actually was actually good, it's not some auto tone stuff like a lot of people do nowadays. It, thankfully, it's, it's not that. It's still natural singing talents. And I, I like that. Definitely quite a bit of effort was placed into the projection of this, as you can see. Because of the fact that, you know, there was lots of rehearsals and lots of stuff that had to get together. And that, that's the thing. Yeah. You can't, you have to remember the lyrics. You have to remember the type of characters, their personality and whatnot. So, yeah. A lot of effort being placed in this. So, it's not something I can say that was lazy to put together. They didn't have as it. So, I'll give this an overall rating of a 7.3 out of 10. It's a 7.3 out of 10 for me. And of course, as always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, see you.